Let's quickly see how to actually go ahead and pair the AirTag with your phone. And it's really simple to do. All you need to do is, uh, you know, open this little uh, cover and uh, you'll see there's this arrow. And as long as you have your phone uh, right next to your AirTag, all I'll do is pull on this and you probably heard that chime. And when that happens, uh, you'll see uh, it. the phone automatically detects the AirTag. So it's sitting right next. And, um, you know, all I'll need to do now is hit on connect. And when I do that, it asks for the name AirTag. So I can then, you know, pick whatever from here. So you can see here that it gives me a choice of a variety of things. I can even have a custom name for a, a custom application. So whatever this AirTag is going to be attached to. So for now, we'll just go ahead and pick on backpack and then hit on continue. And as soon as I do that, you can see that it says uh, AirTag is intended solely to track items that belong to you and uh, is not meant to be used uh, to basically, you know, spy on people. Um, so it, it asks, gives you that prompt and all you do is hit on agree. Uh, it's going to then start connecting. And then it's finally available and you can hit on done. So as you can see, it was fairly simple to connect uh, an Apple AirTag to your phone. Okay, so in order to actually locate your AirTags, you will need to use an app called Find My, uh, and it will be on all Apple devices. So if you click on Find My, it's going to open up the app. And as you can see down below, you can either track people, other devices or items. So your AirTags are gonna be part of items, right? Since they're typically connected to some kind of an object. So in my case, I have configured two air tags, one for my backpack, another one for keys. And if I hit on my backpack, it then offers me these options. Obviously I can see it on a map, uh, but other than that, I can also see um, some features. So the first one would be play a sound. So if I hit on this, it automatically plays a sound and that helps me locate that uh, object. Or I can you know, hit on find my, and it will help me locate you know, this air tag around my house. So obviously for the purpose of this video, I'm not making it too far out. So if I hit on this, it automatically opens this thing up. And as you can see, it shows it's about 0 0.8 feet away. So it's less than a foot away. Um, but if I keep bringing it closer, it, it changes. And once I get under half a feet, it says you are here since you are right next to it, right? So it allows you to find your your lost items that way. You can even, you know, it has a cool feature called share this air tag, which I find really useful in many applications. So for example, let's say the air tag is connected to your pet. It could be a dad, dog or a cat or something like that. And uh, if you are not able to trace your pet, you want to create a search party. So what you can do is basically share this air tag with up to five people using iOS 17. Um, and then, you know, those five people using their phones can start tracking the same air tag and it allows you to widen the net to locate whatever you're trying to locate. It also has this feature called notifications. So which obviously allows you to receive notifications and then has this lost mode feature. So in case you have actually lost, uh, let's say this is connected to my backpack and I have misplaced my backpack and I want to find it, I can, you know, put it on lost mode and then the Apple network will try and locate it and then send me notifications on where it is and uh, allows me to find it. And the last piece is the rename item. So obviously I can, you know, this is connected to my backpack for now, but if I hit on it, I can change this to whatever, you know, from this list and uh, change its description. And then that enables me to uh, use the same air tag for something else. Um, so if you found this useful, please do subscribe to the channel and like this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.